Alright, so firstly I posted a video very similar to this previously, but I plan to go into a bit more depth here. Secondly, this is not a how-to video. I'll show you the tools I use and why I use them, but not specifically how to set them up. There's plenty of documentation out there for that. And while we're here, I should mention that I want this setup to be able to quickly edit and view Markdown and LaTeX files and also transition between different file types. Now, for the most important question, why am I changing my note-taking setup? Well, I've used Obsidian for quite a while, but it feels clunky and slow, and it doesn't allow me to work as efficiently as I'd like. For instance, the search function in Obsidian sometimes just bugs out. For example, using ripgrep to search for token in my notes yields 6 results, but using the search function in obsidian yields 7 results, even though there are only 6 results shown. So now we know why I'm changing my note-taking setup, but what exactly does it need to do? Well, I kind of already answered that, so let's go into a bit more depth. So firstly, I need to view markdown and latex files. Also, latex can compile to a PDF, so we need a PDF viewer as well. Now, as I mentioned, I've been taking notes in Obsidian, which takes notes in Markdown. Thus, because I want to take notes for math and LaTeX, I need to be able to transition between Markdown to LaTeX to PDF and LaTeX back to Markdown. Now, all of these transitions might seem a little bit weird, but it'll all make sense at the end of the video, I promise. Finally, and most importantly, I need to be able to edit both Markdown and LaTeX files really fast. One of my biggest problems with Obsidian is that it's slow as anything, so I want to completely fix that. We can do this with Vim Motions, Snippets, a Fuzzy Finder, a better file manager than NetRW, Spell Checker, and an integrated terminal. First up, viewing Markdown and LaTeX files. NeoVim can of course open Markdown and LaTeX files, but it would be nice if they looked a bit better, because this just looks awful. For this, we can use TreeSitter for syntax highlighting. Now, most configs have this already, but I just thought I should mention it. Image.nvim for viewing images in the terminal. Now, this is extremely cool, but you do need to be using the Kitty terminal. It's a little bit buggy at times. You also need to set up a file path for the images. Next, mark view for Markdown. This just makes Markdown look a lot better. Also, I recently learned that this plugin has been almost entirely developed on a phone. And finally, VimTech for LaTeX. Vimtech is incredibly useful for a lot of things, not just viewing LaTeX files, but we'll get to that later. Now, in order to appropriately view LaTeX files, I do need to view the rendered output of LaTeX, a PDF. So I need a PDF viewer. I could just use Firefox, but I want to use something a bit more dedicated. Thus, for a PDF viewer, I went with Zathura. It's nothing fancy, it supports Vim mindings, and yeah, it views PDFs. Next, I need to transition between different file types. As I previously mentioned, I originally took all of my notes in Obsidian, which takes notes in Markdown. However, I want to take notes in Maths in LaTeX and notes for everything else in Markdown. So I'm going to want to transition all of my Math Markdown notes to LaTeX. Before I get any further, I want to mention that you can do all of this with a tool called Pandoc. I was going to write a script to convert all of the markdown files in my mass filter to LaTeX, but I'm not great at bash, so I decided that I'd rather just convert them on the fly with this command. I should note that Pandoc does produce a significant amount of header in LaTeX. This doesn't affect how the file looks though. Also, if you want to include images in your LaTeX files like this one, then you need to use the GraphicX package and specify a file path for it. Oh, and one other thing. I did mention that I might want to convert from LaTeX back to Markdown. This is because I do use Windows about 10% of the time, and I don't have a purpose-built LaTeX viewer on Windows. So, on the off chance that I need to take notes on Windows, I want to be able to do so without having to use an online editor like Overleaf. So, that gets us between Markdown and LaTeX, and vice versa. How about LaTeX to PDF? Well, this is where VimTech really shines. You can just tell it what PDF viewer you want to use, hit backslash LL, and wait about a second for it to render. All that being said, the amount of things you need to configure or install for this process are a little bit obnoxious. Here's the list off the top of my head. LaTeXMK, the tool that VimTech uses to compile LaTeX files to PDFs. Forward search in Zathura. If you don't disable this, you'll get a bunch of green highlights, which is just kind of annoying. Zathura itself, this config is pretty simple. Actually, I just feel like it's not that well documented. And finally, the output directory for LaTeXMK. If you don't configure this, you'll get a few dozen randomish files in your notes directory. All right, and finally, editing both Markdown and LaTeX files really fast. Now there's not much to say about Markdown here. I have a few little keybinds for general use, but at the end of the day, it's just Markdown, nothing fancy. 
However, VimTech is incredibly useful for editing LaTeX. It comes with a bunch of default motions, and I'll give you a moment to look over them, and then snippets. Snippets aren't done with VimTech itself, but with the Lua Snip plugin. There's nothing super fancy going on here, but there's one little snippet I'll show you. It just makes some of the more monotonous parts of LaTeX a bit quicker. And next, a fuzzy finder. Most NeoVim users already have this installed, but I just thought I should mention it since it is a core part of my workflow. And if you don't use one, it just allows you to move between files really quickly. And after that, I would personally like a better file manager. NeoVim's default browser is NetRW, and while I do love it, it's not super efficient. Since I'm jumping between files a lot, a better file browser is quite important to me. So with that being said, I went with Ncubed as my file browser. It's very Vim-like and, well, it's fast. And for our second to last item, I added a spell checker. Now, this is already built into NeoVim, and it's super easy to use and enable. Now, I did have to set it to automatically toggle off on any open terminals, because I don't need my terminal being spell checked. FDisk definitely isn't a real word. And finally, an integrated terminal. NeoVim already provides a built-in terminal, but the toggle term plugin allows us to toggle that on and off really quick, which is nice. Oh, and by the way, I'm sure someone's going to ask if I utilize AI at all. So to get this out of the way, no, I really don't like AI, and I'll tell you why in just a second. The one really good use case that I have found, though, is taking screenshots of math stuff and using ChatGPT to convert that to LaTeX. I normally write LaTeX by hand, but there's certain situations where I have to ask myself, what am I really getting out of this? And why don't I like AI, you ask? Well, you can find out on buyai.dev, a site specifically made for people that don't appreciate the influx of AI-generated content. And that's about it. With this setup, I can view Markdown and LaTeX files in NeoVim, edit them with ease, and transition between file types with Pandoc. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider subscribing and checking out some of my work on GitHub, Dev.2, or by AI. And if you'd like to check out my dot files or my NeoVim config, I did link my repo in the description.